Hi, my name is Dean, the Spinner Video Gamer. So, pag-uusapan natin ngayon is yung SMS Protect na ginagamit ng... Well, ginamit ng Overwatch and I think pa mukhang gagamitin din yata ng Modern Warfare 2. Okay? Ah, sige. So, ready? Okay, bago natin tuloy yung video. Kung may hiligi sa mga board games, check this video out. That was Variable Play. We are a group of content creators focused on tabletop games and some video games. Marami silang shows katulad ng mga unboxing, let's play, miniature painting, how to play, board game news, game discussions, and more. And, kung mahilig sa mga movies, TV shows, games, toys, and more, check out Gikosti at gikostimag.com and punkbeast at punkbeast.com. Okay? Sige, on to the video! Okay, so pag-uusapan nga natin yung SMS Protect. So, medyo ano ako dito, medyo yung... Okay, kung hindi kayo familiar with SMS Protect, ang idea nito is basically nagre-require siya ng phone number. Uh, ang nagulat ako doon sa ano, doon parang mag-sign up ka for a game. Yun nga, Overwatch 2. And, no, pero Overwatch medyo nag-ano sila, medyo nag... Uh, loosen up na sila sa restrictions. Pero sabi ng ano, sa Modern Warfare 2, which is lalabas pa lang, mukhang gagamitin daw nila. Okay, so, part ng registration mo is you need to sign up using a cell phone. So, hindi lang to two-step verification. Ang requirement niya is kailangan um, postpaid plan ang gamit mo. Problem yun. As in, lalo na dito sa Pilipinas. Ah, uh, no, no, I'm nag-install pa lang ako ng ano, nag-install pa lang ako ng Overwatch 2. Um, testing ko lang siya. I don't really plan on um, uh, focusing on it on a long term. Uh, I just wanna just see it and test it out. Uh, pero yun. Um, pero buti nga sa ano, buti nga sa Blizzard, sa Overwatch 2. Medyo nag-lighten sila restrictions. Lalo na kung meron ka na daw uh, Blizzard account. Okay, so I have that. Pero yun nga, pag-worry ako how does it work pagdating sa, ano, pagdating sa Modern Warfare and others. Uh, tapos, kasi yun nga, kung nagre-require ng postpaid phone number, uh, that's gonna be a problem for most Filipinos dito kasi most Filipinos dito uses uh, prepaid numbers. Eh, tapos yun yun, parang ang balita daw is uh, pag prepaid ng number mo, hindi daw tatanggapin ang system. And that's um, a problem for the reason niya. Mas majority ng tao rito sa Pilipinas is prepaid. And it's really less of a hassle. Um, katulad ko, I've been using prepaid a prepaid phone for many years already i think more than a decade na na naka prepaid may prepaid number ako and, uh, and i i never i have it gotten back to postpaid number for for quite some time in and medyo no ako na biglang magre-require ng postpaid uh, it's gonna be really inconvenient for a lot of people 
Uh, siguro kasi sa, sa, ano, sa ibang bansa, siguro sa States. Naintindihan ko na bakit kailangan ng postpaid. I think getting a postpaid is more accessible there than it is here. Pero niya, dito sa Pilipinas, it's just not an easy thing to, to do. Mga ibang tao kasi it's not really good. No, marang ako, I don't want to commit myself to paying on that regular basis. Lalo na I don't really use that phone that much. Ang gamit ko lang talaga sa phone is basically to communicate with people. Eh, uh, the way I communicate is through the internet na. I rarely call uh, using the phone. I just usually I uh, use the phone pero gamit ako ng Viber so sa internet yun or gagamit ako ng ano, gagamit lang ako ng um, Facebook Messenger tawag lang din doon. I really really rarely use yung talagang call. Uh, nag-load lang ako once in a while parang load lang ako ng a few hundred pesos once in a, every every few months <laughs> so, hindi pa ganun kadalas yung ano talagang I rarely rarely use it so that's why I that's why I let go dun sa, sa postpaid ko kasi I just don't see me paying on that regular basis so it just doesn't make any sense to me to keep on paying that So yun lang. So nag- I'm just reacting to that and it is, I'm just not happy with that with that decision. Sana iyan nila. So sana they they make something more not that restrictive. Ay ay na naintindihan ko naman yung purpose ano. Well, yung pagkakaintindi ko sa purpose ng SMS Protect is because they want to um, limit yung well cheaters and ano yung well the cheaters tapos yung mga ano yung mga nag abuse kasi mga ganyan madali nila i-ban at pag na-ban mas mararamdaman ng user kasi pag na-ban yung ano mo pag na-ban yung pati phone number mo kahit anong registration mo tapos pag gamitin mo pa rin yung phone number na yun uh, you're, you're ano you're gonna be locked out e, uh, parang they're, they're looking for solutions na And the sa akin, they're looking for solutions na parang hassle sa end user. The the the, the SMS protect thing is not something na um, universally gonna be accepted, I think. Uh, especially with the areas na medyo na medyo tight. Lalo na uh, una, yun nga, kaya ka nga nagminsan-minsan nagko-console kasi you can't afford getting a PC. Uh, tapos minsan-minsan niya, kaya ka kumuha ng Series S kasi nga nagtitipid ka tas biglang ano nga niya, yung magre-require sila ng postpaid phone na kailangan talaga na consistent na gabayad ka regularly on a, ba- on, on a regular basis kasi si mo kung wala kang paano kung paano kung wala kang ano you don't really use a phone para maglaro ka lang magsa-sign up ka pa ng uh, magsusubscribe ka to this service just to play a game these are games it you it, it It should not things should not revolve on games. Uh, these are still entertainment and still the, the, these things should be optional, hindi requirement. So I, if I am forced to just get forced to get a phone, a, per, a more permanent phone number just to play this game, I'm not gonna play the game. Kasi it's too much to it's too much to for me to add on to my um, daily life. Games is just an something even though I I I want games to be a big part of my life. Games are still an add-on to my life. Anyway, so ayun ang ano Um, there are other games that I can play that does not require that kind of um, phone re- SMS protect requirement thing. So, uh, sana hindi nila ito tuloy ito kasi it just, it just will just, it would just push me out of joining the games. Anyway, single player mode lang naman ako talaga. Hindi ako masyado nag multiplayer. Um, kaya ako na ininstall tong Overwatch kasi nga, I just really wanna test it out and uh, f- friends of mine have been saying it's really really good and then uh, pero yeah sige tingnan natin anyway so yun nagreact lang ako regarding ano regarding um, SMS protect 
I I ho- hope you understand why I'm ano, I'm um, reacting to this this way. Kasi nga, it's just ano, nga, it's just a little too much for a game. The the security that they're asking for it's a little uh, it's a little absurd for me. Um, especially with especially in the Philippines. Pero maybe not in the US. Pero I, I'm not really so sure. Pero yun nga, for here in the here in the Philippines, it's too much to ask for. Ayan. Anyway, um, yeah. Sige. Uh, I hope you guys like that um, reaction regarding news. Um, yeah. Thank you very much. As in, for the past few days, dumadami yung mga subscribers and thank you very much. Uh, really really appreciate it I really really appreciate that you are guys watching my videos it's just <coughs> mind boggling to me <laughs> in a sense but yeah I really, really appreciate it thank you very much and you guys uh, take care enjoy your life uh, you guys are important you are always important okay anyway thank you very much you guys take care and bye bye